knew I was gonna see you again. I knew I was gonna see you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP, and everybody else out there, man. So I see, I see the talk. I see people talking. I see a lot of tweets and there's blogs and there's a lot of shit going on out there because Calico versus Easy the Black Captain got announced yesterday. Um, it's gonna be on Ultimate. Rap League Summer Madness 12. Uh, Easy the Black Captain, well deserving of a battle. Calico, well deserving of a battle. Legendary stature, status, things like that. Um, I seen Calico post the blog, I mean the show, the episode we did yesterday. He said, he said, and I quote, don't these niggas get tired of getting this wrong? As far as like, you know, the opinion. Cause the, your, I said it yesterday, your opinion doesn't count until your opinion counts, right? Um, and that's in regards to his battle. So when he battled Chess, I had Cal winning. When he battled Sue Surf, I picked Surf to win that battle. Surf won that battle. I picked Cal to beat Chess. Cal beat Chess. I picked Cal to beat Verb. Cal beat Verb. So like I said, your opinion doesn't matter until it matters. So we are wrong. If I'm wrong when you win, I should be wrong when you loop. You you see what I'm saying? Y'all gotta put that together, right? So. Um, I don't pay much attention to that, but I did have to mention it because, you know, Cal, he put us on blast, y'all. Tired of getting it wrong, and I know people go with the notion that SP hates Cal, but that's an individual person with his own individual opinion. My opinion is just that. Um, I got a lot of respect for Cal and what he does. I got a lot of respect for Easy and what he does, too, and I'm sure it's going to be a pretty good battle, but Cal, no, you're dead wrong because I picked you to win battles, and I have picked you in other battles that turned out the other way, you know what I'm saying? So let's let's keep it, keep it across the board. Um... So you got his trailer coming out and he did comment on the fact that ARP's voice was in the trailer. He said, yo, I don't even know why ARP's voice is in my trailer. Like, what's going on with this? So if you don't know, you know, you all drops a trailer yesterday and I know a lot of y'all think, oh, Smack, Smack don't make trailers. I mean, <laughs> no, 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 no. He's not making trailers. The bosses don't make trailers. They got people who make trailers. Derez makes trailers and there's other people. And then he's used a lot of people's voices in trailers before. He's used mine, he's used others, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sure they got the way they go about doing it, you know what I mean? And if I'm in one, it's cool. If I'm not, I don't care either, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But they use the best buildup for battles. And of course they're gonna fire ARP. Of course they are, why wouldn't they? ARP has a whole show. ARP is a league owner. ARP does blogs, ARP he has a strong opinion in battle rap. He has a whole podcast series now. Sorry it's true where he talks about and breaks down everything from battles to backstories to narratives to winners to losers. I've seen ARP even recap URL events. He's recapped Summer Madnesses. He's recapped other big events. He probably, I think he recapped the Drake card. And these niggas ain't friends. They're enemies. You know what I'm saying? Like you see URL does they thing and you know, Rare Breed Entertainment does this. It's two totally different entity entities. Could they coexist in the same world? Of course they could, but they don't because, you know, nobody, it's like, I don't care if you do good as long as you're not doing better than me. You know what I'm saying? Or even getting that kind of win. That's why you see battlers get blocked off cards, uh, events getting thrown around the same time. I Shit, they even had an event thrown in the same city as Rare Breed Entertainment when they did the Genesis shit and then they pulled JC off the car when he was supposed to be. So it's mad petty shit that's been going down forever. I blogged about it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas, fucking Hollow the Dom was paid, said he was paid 26000 to not battle on URL. URL could pay me $26,000 to not blog on Rare Breed. I'm probably still gonna blog them anyway, so. But I'm just saying, that's the type of shit that goes on, the backdoor shit that goes on. And they all watch, trust me, they all watch these blogs. I see uh, MCs and different people say, oh, the bloggers, all they do is talk about the drama and shit like that. I get it, but people still watch it. These blogs do tens and thousands and hundreds of thousands of views. Why are people watching? If nobody cared, why do they still watch it? I've, I've, there's been times where me and SP have broken down battles, bar for bar, line for line, did all of this stuff to break down a battle, and nobody even really cares. The artists that you're breaking down the battle for don't even care. They don't retweet. You can tag them in it and everything. They won't retweet. They won't talk about it. They don't give a shit about it. But the second you be like, you know what, fuck that. I'm just going to stick to the news, and we're going to stick to when battles happen and recap the big events, 
Now everybody's like, oh, you don't recap our battle. I'm sorry, I don't give a fuck. Well, well, well. All you niggas can take the L. Now let's move on. Um, so ARP, who's never been one to be uh, without any words, he said, uh, salute to my man, Mr. Check the Temperature. Salute to everything that he does. He said, ARP voice in a URL trailer is wild, Mr. Check the Temperature. ARP replies, it says, LOL, from who days ago uses his podcast clip to promo our biggest event of the year. Guess who has been answered publicly finally? I was so used to the BS, to the behind the scenes stuff. Then he says, word is they claim in self-defense now. The bully is on defense in the same interview. I'm confused. Let me guess. All these leagues been sabotaging you all these years. Then ARP says, we ball heads need to stick together. Let's call it a truce. Then ARP goes on and says, Shata would never. You can't copy my voice. Like I said, this shit right here is no surprise. Like, petty is as petty does. See, these niggas be petty. Now, you have been petty for years. But they just use different people to pr to promote their pettiness. Like they smack not gonna come out and just diss ARP. But it'll get his closest soldier surf surf will jump out there. Other niggas will jump out there. Oh KFC. Oh you them niggas over there. They ain't got no stars. They use they'll they, and even and you guys know that when I say use, they won't tell them to do it. Like straight up, like yo, drop a tweet on these niggas today. You better drop a tweet on these niggas today. Oh, you ain't getting your second hand, shut fuck up out of here. Nah, it's not happening like that. But what it is, is that people pledging allegiance to one side will diss the other side, will talk about the other side, will say that they don't got no stars, say they don't got no big events. But trust me, that Cassidy versus Hitman, that definitely shook some shit up. It definitely shook some shit up because the next thing you know, now Cassidy is a uh, book to be battling freeway. Nobody in the fucking world wants to see that shit. I don't even think the niggas who's battling in the battle want to see that shit. You know what I'm saying? But then they said the bloggers be all about the drama. I blogged on that freestyle that Freeway did the other day. That shit did almost 30,000 views. Why are y'all, if you, if we are over nothing but drama, why are people watching it? Because it's provocative. It gets the people going. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're gonna watch. So anyway, let's keep it going. Um, am I surprised that ARP was the target of a URL trailer? No, I'm not surprised because, like I said, ARP has a whole podcast series where he talks about everything every day. It's actually pretty good. Sorry is true is the name of it. It's like a rabbit hole. If you click one and it automatically plays the next one, then it plays the next one. It plays. He has a whole stream. It's like fucking 30 of these shits, and I'm sure he's going to have more of them after this drop. So, um... I do have a lot of respect for ARP and what he does, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's put together some pretty big battles. He's helped the culture a lot, you know what I'm saying? He's continued to deliver content to YouTube, which is a very important thing because YouTube era was very important. Niggas built their careers, like whole leagues, whole entities, whole bloggers, whole platforms have been built off of YouTube. So to see them take a shot at him and to put his voice in the trailer, I'm really not surprised. But one thing I did get... Um, from Calico was that he was basically saying that you know there's certain MCs that he could prepare for on the fly like he could literally just prepare for Fonz while on a drive to the damn event there's other people that he's gonna take back and take take a step back and prepare the right way easy to block captain is one I hope he watched the um, prediction and I hope that it drives and pushes his pen because trust me if what we say whether it be me or other people, if what we say gets people in the bag that they need to be in to focus and bring the best them for a battle, then so motherfucking be it. I don't mind being that person that will speak things from my perspective and whether they like it or not, it really don't matter because the truth sounds like hate to niggas who hate the truth. Um, like I said, I did predict Calico to win in a bunch of battles recently, most notably with Chess, most notably with Verb, most notably, I think I even had him 2-1 going to Geechee in the Summer Madness and I feel like he won most of them. Um, I didn't have him win the versus two serve and he didn't win so I'm trying to figure out where where did we go wrong but not nah, Cal still my man I still fuck with him I got a lot of family that fuck with him in Michigan and things like that and I'm gonna um, continue to rock and do what I do but yeah uh, URL goes petty petty goes pettier you know and the thing is ARP been calling these niggas out blog for blog for blog for blog for blog for blog. This nigga has files on everybody. I'm sure he has a computer desktop with a hundred uh, folders on it. He can click, 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 drag and drop and cook anybody. I've seen him do the shit with Sirius Jones. I've seen him do it with other niggas. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all the three things you don't want in life is death,
taxes and a blog by ARP. You know what I'm saying? Like those three things could hurt you pretty bad. But uh, you know, I'm excited to see where it goes. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to see the next Max out. Who's gonna be on the next Max out? Who's gonna be on the next Rare Breeze car? Like keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Every league, it don't matter. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, I don't be contracted to no league. I can talk about any single league I want, any single, you know what I'm saying, platform. If I get a call and says, yo, we want you to be at this event, we want you to come there. If I'm called and contracted to be somewhere, I'll be there. But if I'm not, then I'm gonna just continue to do what I do on my side and just do the things that I do. I, I prefer it this way. And uh, you know, right after this, I can get right back to my kids. You niggas stay up, I'm going, gang gang. <laughs>